All right, everybody. Um, new video here um, using the Chromebook for the first time, which is great. Um, welcome to Big Boy Variety if you haven't already you know, came here. Uh, for the new guy that came here last night, welcome uh, to the channel. You're just in luck, just in time for college basketball and stuff like that, and college football and NFL and NBA and all the good stuff that I cover here, and indoor football as well. Um, occasionally, I'll do a WNBA video, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, usually just cover football and basketball here, but that's not the point. That's not why we're here. What I am here to talk about, though, is um, college basketball having these conference schedules of 20 games or more. And really the bottom line here is that most conferences need to go towards a 20-game structure in their conferences. You know, there's too many times that I've seen non-Division one games, you know, like taking like Utah State, which just released their schedule a couple weeks ago. A uh, couple of non-D1 games on there that weren't exhibitions, you know. Uh, it, it's a disgusting state of affairs in in college basketball, you know. Uh, I guess the power conferences, the big boys, they want to, they want, they say they want to keep separating themselves, you know, try to find more times to play, you know, teams in their own conference. But I mean, it is what it is. It's just such a some of these conferences are so big that you have to play 20 games. You know, 18 is not enough. Um, but, yeah, um, like, even a small conference like the Sun Belt is moving towards 20 games. You know, um, ACC is doing it. Big Ten already did it. Pac-12 is going to do it. Big East is going to do it when UConn comes back. Sun Belt's doing it. Why aren't some of these other conferences doing it? What about, oh yeah, what about Conference USA, huh? What about the flex schedule thing, huh? What about that? Well, that was a colossal failure. Um, I said it was going to be a failure, and it already it already failed. For, it already failed in its first year. It's one, it, well, it's just one year. You know, you can't base success off of one year. No, it was a bad idea from the start. That's why the Sun Belt rejected it and went to 20 games. Conference USA should have did the same thing. You know, UNT should not have to be playing, you know, like this same such and such team like three or four times, you know, like three or four times in the regular season. It, this isn't the NBA, you know. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Uh, more conferences should be doing this. I just think, you know, to get rid of some of these non-Division One games, you know, especially when you talk about the HBCUs. Um, now, I know the SWAT can't do it because there are, there are 10 teams. They can't, uh, unless you want to try and, like, get somebody to play somebody three times or something like that, which is probably impossible. Um, but, yeah, most conferences can do this. Um, the Big 12 can't do it. Um, the American can do it. The Americans are going to be at 11 next year. They can do that. They can go to 20. You know, I'm pretty sure I haven't looked at any schedules or anything like that, but I'm sure Tulane, you know, I'm sure somebody here has scheduled, you know, like a game with some non-Division one school. It really, it, it, it's crazy, you know, it's crazy. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't, I don't know. maybe this isn't the right solution, but it's one that I want to put out there to the world. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. Um, Saturday's right around the corner, you know, football season's back in the air. You know, I just wanted to get something real quick out to all of you. And so this is the first time using the Chromebook, uh, my Chromebook 15 Acer, you know, for videos and stuff like that. Um, Sometimes I may try it and use it. Um, other times, not so much for maybe longer videos and whatnot. But yeah, that's all I've got, y'all. Peace.